हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर एट ऑन पॉइसन प्रॉबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अनदर क्वेश्चन आस्ड इन जी टी यू विंटर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एग्जाम सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज गिवन क्वेश्चन द नंबर ऑफ फ्लोज इन ए फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल द नंबर ऑफ फ्लोज इन ए फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल फॉलोज ए पॉइसन प्रोसेस विथ एन एवरेज ऑफ पॉइंट सिक्स पर हंड्रेड फीट पार्ट वन फाइंड द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एग्जैक्टली टू फ्लोज इन ए टू हंड्रेड फीट केबल एंड इन सेकेंड पार्ट फाइंड द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एग्जैक्टली वन फ्लो इन द फर्स्ट हंड्रेड फीट एंड प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ एग्जैक्टली वन फ्लो इन द सेकेंड हंड्रेड फीट सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन सम फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल एंड देर आर फ्लोज इन ए फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल सो रैंडम वेरिएबल इज नंबर ऑफ फ्लोज इन ए फाइबर ऑप्टिक केबल ऑफ हंड्रेड फीट और टू हंड्रेड फीट अकॉर्डिंगली वॉट एवर इज आस्ट नाउ इट इज गिवन दैट एवरेज नंबर ऑफ फ्लोज इन ए हंड्रेड फीट केबल इज पॉइंट सिक्स सो फर्स्ट वी राइट डाउन गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन गिवन दैट an average number of flows average number of flows in a 100 feet cable equal to 0.6 or 0.6 is the average number of flows per 100 feet now In first part, we are asked to find out probability of exactly two flows in a 200 feet cable. So we will require average number of flows in a 200 feet cable. Okay, so accordingly we have to decide. So we can uh, understand in this way. Uh, suppose I consider feet here and here I consider average number of flows. So I am given that. If I have hundred feet cable, then average number of flows are point six. And if I require average number of flows in two hundred feet cable, then I can go in this way. Okay, this we are uh, doing in our school classes. Okay, this is just for understanding. Otherwise, you can directly write here. So, if there is a hundred feet cable. we have 0.6 flows average number of flows is 0.6 then for 200 feet what will be the average number of flows so we know that how to find out this we take cross multiplication so we have 200 times 0.6 divided by 100 so we can cancel out 100 here so we have 2 into 0.6 so there will be 1.2 average number of flows per 200 feet cable so average number of flows in a 100 feet cable is 0.6 therefore average number of flows in a 200 feet cable in a 200 feet cable is nothing but 1.2 so now we consider part 1 in part 1 we are asked to find out probability of exactly two flows in a 200 feet cable so in part 1 uh, we consider random variable as capital x equal to number of flows in a 200 feet cable and uh, we have uh, obtained that average number of flows in a 200 feet cable is 1.2 so therefore mean of this random variable x is nothing but lambda equal to 1.2 now x is a poisson random variable so the probability mass function of x 
is given by probability that capital X equal to small x equal to e raised to minus lambda lambda to the power x divided by x factorial x is number of flows we can which can take value starting from zero and we obtain value of lambda for 200 feet cable value of lambda is 1.2 so we put 1.2 here so we have e raised to minus 1.2 1.2 to the power x divided by x factorial x can take values starting from 0 1 2 and so on so this is the probability of x flows in a 200 feet cable and we are asked to find out probability of exactly two flows in a 200 feet cable so for that we will put x equal to 2 so here we write that probability of exactly two flows probability of exactly two flows in a 200 feet cable is nothing but probability that capital X equal to 2 and in this we put small x equal to 2 so it is e raised to minus 1.2 1.2 to the power 2 divided by 2 factorial that is nothing but 2 so if we use scientific calculator this turns out to be 0.2168 this I have calculated using scientific calculator so this is the probability of exactly 2 flows in a 200 feet cable it is 0.2168 so we have completed part 1 probability of exactly two flows in a 200 feet cable turns out to be 0.2168 now what we have to take care is this one here average number of flows are given per 100 feet cable and in part 1 we are asked to find out probability of exactly two flows in a 200 feet cable so first we have to decide average number of flows per 200 feet cable and that will be considered as mean for the random variable number of flows in a 200 feet cable so we have to be careful about interval here interval is nothing but a length of a cable instead of a time interval here interval is length of a cable now we go for part 2 so what is asked in part 2 so in part 2 we are asked to find out probability of exactly one flow in first 100 feet and probability of exactly one flow in the second 100 feet okay so we are asked to find out probability of two events a if we consider this event as event a event a is exactly one flow in 100 feet cable in the first 100 feet cable and event b is exactly one flow in the second 100 feet cable then we are asked to find out probability of a and b or probability of a intersection b and it is clear that both of these events are independent the number of flows in first 100 feet cable is independent of number of flows in second 100 feet cable and vice versa so these two events are independent so you can find out this as product of probability of a and probability of b and here length of cable is 100 feet so we will consider 0.6 as mean of random variable number of flows in a 100 feet cable so in second part uh, we are asked to find out probabilities in a 100 feet cable so in second part we consider random variable x equal to number of flows in a 100 feet cable in first part we were asked the probability in a 200 feet cable so there we consider x equal to number of flows in a 200 feet cable because we are asked the probability in a 200 feet cable okay, we, we can understand here in first part 
we are asked the probability of exactly two flows in a 200 feet cable so in this case we consider random variable x as number of flows in a 200 feet cable in second part we are asked the probabilities of number of flows in a 100 feet cable so in part 2 we consider capital X equal to number of flows in a 200 feet cable and it is given that average number of flows in a 100 feet cable is 0.6 so mean of this random variable x will be considered as lambda equal to 0.6 so uh, therefore the probability mass function of this random variable is probability that x equal to small x equal to e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x over x factorial and we put lambda equal to 0 0.6 in the next step so therefore probability that capital X equal to small x is e raised to minus 0 0.6 0 0.6 to the power x divided by x factorial x can take values from 0 1 2 and so on now first we define those two events suppose event a is uh, there is a combination of two events here so we are asked to find out probability of exactly one flow in the first hundred feet so this we will consider as event a and exactly one flow in the second hundred feet will be considered as event b so event a means exactly one flow in the first hundred feet cable and event b is exactly one flow in this second hundred feet cable exactly one flow in the second hundred feet cable so required probability is in part two required probability equal to probability of a and b or probability of a intersection b and a and b are independent events therefore probability of a intersection b equal to probability of a into probability of b okay, because a and b are independent events okay, or we can simply write a and b are independent now event A is nothing but exactly one flow in the first hundred feet that means we have to find out this value at small x equal to 1 so this is nothing but probability that x equal to 1 similarly B is also exactly one flow in the second hundred feet cable so that is also same we have to find out this probability at small x equal to 1 so here also we consider probability that x equal to 1 so this is nothing but square of probability that x equal to 1 and we find out probability of capital X equal to 1 by taking small x equal to 1 here so we take small x equal to 1 and we have e raised to minus 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 divided by 1 factorial that is 1 so that we write here e raised to minus 0.6 0 0.6 raised to 1 that is 1 and divided by 1 and the square of this and using scientific calculator I obtain this as 0 0.1084 so this is the probability of exactly one flow in the first hundred feet cable and exactly one flow in the second hundred feet cable this probability is 0 0.1084 okay, so you have to be careful you have to decide what is random variable under consideration in part one 
वी आर आज दी प्रॉब्लिटी फॉर टू हंड्रेड फीट केबल सो वी कंसीडर रैंडम वेरिएबल एज नंबर ऑफ फ्लोज इन ए टू हंड्रेड फीट केबल एंड वी कंसीडर लेमडा इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू एंड इन पार्ट टू वी आर आज दी प्रॉब्लिटीज इन ए हंड्रेड फीट केबल सो हियर वी कंसीडर लेमडा इक्वल टू पॉइंट सिक्स एंड वी कंसीडर दिस प्रॉब्लिटी मास फंक्शन फॉर लेमडा इक्वल टू पॉइंट सिक्स सो इन दिस वे दिस इज वेरी इजी यू जस्ट हैव टू डिसाइड वॉट इज द इंटरवल ऑन विच यूर रैंडम वेरिएबल इज गोइंग टू बी डिफाइंड बाई यू सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस लेक्चर आई होप यू लाइक इट थैंक यू वेरी मच